Today, I'll be talking about a man whose love for Geometry Dash changed the lives of many people, the king of balding himself, Eric Van Buderman. Eric is a Geometry Dash YouTuber with almost 1 million subscribers and he's been going strong for 10 whole years. This video is about his decade-long journey, going from a small horror game YouTuber to the most loved Geometry Dash player. Welcome everyone to part 7 of GD History with Womper, the dawn of VVW. The year is 2013. Eric Van Wiederman makes his YouTube channel and starts uploading horror game playthroughs. His first uploads were a 33 part series on the Wii game Fatal Frame. He kept on uploading horror game videos until May of 2013, when suddenly a video would pop up on his channel featuring a relatively new game called The Impossible Game, and that's when it all started. Over the next few months, he would upload 3 more Impossible Game videos beating all the other levels. Just a few weeks after that, he reached 10,000 subscribers, and upon reaching 20,000, he uploaded his first Geometry Dash video. On that video, he beat the first few levels during a hot sauce challenge, where every time he died, he took a spoon of hot sauce. From there on out, he would consistently upload GD content, with a few breaks for whenever a new horror game came out. His Geometry Dash videos were going viral, leaving his horror content to the side. The GD videos were consistently getting over 100k views, while the horror ones were barely making it past 10,000, so he slowly started transitioning into GD as a full-time thing. Before we continue, here's a quick session where I point you towards a few games he's played before. Go play them, trust me. Alright, back to Geometry Dash. EVW started playing in Update 1.9, that's when the Wii was introduced and along with the PC version of the game. He slowly beat all of the main levels and collected all of the official coins. It seemed like he was really enjoying the game and wanted to improve in it, so he tackled some harder demons like the V2 levels by Neptune and the Temple levels, for example Forest Temple and Desert Temple. But the thing about EVW wasn't his skill, he wasn't and still isn't even close to being a professional player. He was different because despite his age, he was entertaining and fun and his videos brought an entire different community of people to the game, including me. Around that time, he beat 50-20 mode on 5 Nights at Freddy's UCN, which is one of the hardest video gaming challenges ever. Just thought I'd point that out really quick. Eric continued posting Geometry Dash videos, ranging from level completions to various different challenges. His most popular series are the Impossible or Not videos, where he gets sent levels that claim to be impossible, and he tries to beat them to prove them wrong. A more recent one is the one level of each difficulty videos, where he has 100 lives to beat a 2 star all the way to a demon. These are the types of videos that brought him to where he is today. And this is pretty much it. I don't really want to go too deep into his level completions because it's not really the point of this video. I just wanted to explain where he came from and why he even is a Geometry Dash YouTuber in the first place. Also, I didn't have as much time to work on this and the script was a bit rushed, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. If you did, please consider subscribing. It really doesn't take long and we are so close to 1000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, you already know what to do. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.